marks four years since Ferguson, Missouri descended into chaos after black teenager Michael Brown was shot and killed by white police officer Darren Wilson. In the days that followed, violent protests erupted and race riots ripped that city apart. Five days later, Captain Ron Johnson of the Missouri Highway Patrol was put in charge of keeping the peace and was hailed as a hero to all sides by taking off his bulletproof vest and joining the protesters at one point. Captain Johnson just wrote a book, 13 Days in Ferguson, detailing what he calls the most trying days and nights of his life. And he joins me now for an exclusive interview. Uh, Captain Johnson, thanks for being on the program. Uh, you know, I, I first want to just make the point that Darren Wilson was vindicated. He was found not to have, have done anything legally incorrect in shooting Michael Brown. And he has now been in seclusion with his wife and child for some time. We'll get to him in a moment. You became the face that stood between the Black Lives Matters protesters and those police officers that had to do their jobs. Why did you put yourself in that position? You know, for me, I was able to see both sides of it, and I believe that the middle of the road was a road to travel to bring both sides together. And whatever it took to do that, I was willing to do that. Your family didn't want you to do that. They, they feared for your safety. And what did you tell them? I told them the day that I put on that badge, I, there was a responsibility. And I think when we get that badge, we get a responsibility. And that was my responsibility to the community, to this country, to make sure that I'm there for the safety of, of, of all. And so that was my, uh, my charge. You know what impressed me at the time, and I know you've written about this in your book, uh, you wanted people to understand, though, about those white police officers and that particular police force, that there were so many good people on that force, and not to judge everybody the same way. And that is true. I, I think we can't judge everybody the same way. But I wanted those policemen to know that we couldn't judge all those protesters the same way. And that, once again, goes back to that middle of the road. You've written this book. What do you want people to know about this book? I want people to know that uh, there were a lot of stories that were on the streets of Ferguson, on both sides, and a lot of things to hear, and there were a lot of courage that was shown. Uh, and that, you know, we have to make sure that we understand each other I relate to each other, but also about faith. I think faith played a big role for me, played a big role for a lot of the protesters and law enforcement that were out there. All right. I have to let you go. We have some break.